very good morning to you all my dear students i hope you are all fine isn't it are you happy good let's start our maths class have you completed your homework okay now we are going to study about one new lesson that is sets okay chapter 7 sets okay chapter 7 Set. A collection and a set. Okay. What is set? A, co a collection of well-defined object. Okay. Collection of well-defined object. Now listen. Here we have two sets, two collections, isn't it? Now here set A is equal to pen, taxi, then topi, pen, topi. Now listen here. This is one collection. Isn't it? This is one collection. Then one more set that is B is equal to A E I O U. Isn't it? A E I O U. This is the vowel sound. Then is all the words. Now this is one collection. Now here what is set? The now this set A is A. Yeah, can we say this set A is set? We can't say because here pen, taxi, topi, pen. Topi. What is set? This is the definition. A set is a collection of well-defined and distinct object. A set is a collection of well-defined and distinct object. Now here this is not well-defined because here uh, this is collection. Here pen, taxi, then topi, then pen, topi. Here. Distinct. The set means this is a dis. Here we need distinct object. But here pen, trophy, and pen is repeated, isn't it? Repeated. Not this is not distinct object. So we can't say this is set. Okay. So set A is not a set. This is not well defined. This is not not distinct object. Okay. So this set is not when well, this day this set A is not set. Okay. Now set B A E I O U. This is the vowels of the English alphabet. Here listen here. Yeah, any one elements here uh, repeated? No. Here A E I O U. Isn't it? This is distinct and well defined. So we can say set B is set. Are you clear? This is the collection and a set. Okay. Now next one. Representation of a set. Okay. Representation of a set. There are two methods of representing of a set. We have two methods. First one. Roaster or tabular or listing method. Roaster method or tabular method or listing method. Okay. That is. Set A is equal to C N S T. Listing the elements, isn't it? All elements are listed, isn't it? So we can say this is called roster method or tabular method or listing method. Okay. Now the second one, rule or set builder method. Okay. Rule or set builder method. That is. Yes, set A is equal to set of all x such that x is a consonant in the word constant. Okay, C O N S T A N T S constants. X such that x is a consonant in the word constants. Okay, this method is called set rule method or rule method. Okay, now another one set A B is equal to Yes, such that x is a two-digit multiple of seventeen. Two-digit multiple of seventeen. This is this method is called rule method or set rule method. Are you clear about this? What is roster method or tabular method or listing method? That elements are listed, isn't it? In the set, that elements are listed means that is called roster method or tabular method or listing. method 
Now we are put our separated form method means we can write in the word that is x such that x is a constant in the constant consonant in the word constants like this. Okay. Now z is equal to x such that x is a two digit multiple of seventeen. Okay. Now next one cardinal number of a set. Okay. Cardinal number of a set. The cardinal number of a set A is the number of distinct elements in it and is denoted as n of a. Okay. The cardinal number of a set A is the number of distinct elements. Okay. Distinct elements. Distinct means don't repeat repeat the element. Okay. Distinct elements in it and is denoted as n of a. Now listen. Here set P is equal to A B C D. Okay, this uh, um, cardinal number is denoted as n of A. Set A set name is A, so n of A. Set name is B means n of B. Now here set name is P. That is n of P. Cardinal number is denoted as n of that set name. N of A, n of B like this. Okay. Now, example one plus one p is equal to a b c d. Now here listen, this all distinct element, isn't it? There any one element is repeated? No. So we can say this is distinct element. Now we can count one, two, three, four. How many members are? How many elements? Four members are also known as elements. Okay. Now here a b c d. These are the elements. A total how many elements? Four elements. So we can say we can write n of p is equal to four. One, two, three, four. Four. This is the cardinal number of a set. Okay, this is the cardinal number of a set. Now second one q is equal to yes. Now can I can say this is which method? Listing method or builder method? This is listing method. All the elements are listed, isn't it? So we can say this is listing method or uh, 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 this is the set builder form. This is uh, what listing method or roster method, isn't it? Roster method or listing method. Now listen here. X such that X is a letter in the word Indian. Okay. X such that X is a letter in the word Indian. Now we can write what are the elements in the set. Now we want to write in the listing method of our roster form. Okay. Now we have to set Q is equal to. Now we can't count how many elements. Isn't it? First we want to write the elements in in listing method. After we can write in what cardinal number. Okay. Now here Q is equal to. X is a letter in the word Indian. Now we can what are the letters? I, N. D again I don't repeat the repeat the element so no need to write again I so next I and D then A N N N N already we have wrote isn't it so no need to write N so how many elements are there one two three four isn't it I N D A so how many elements four elements so uh, what is the cardinal number of this set P of Q is equal to sorry N of Q is equal to how many elements? Four elements. So we can write four. Okay. Then R is equal to one more example. R is equal to x such that x is equal to one power n. One power n. N belongs to n. One power n. N belongs to n. Do you know what's the symbol? This is belongs to. How can you read? Belongs to. Last year we have studied, isn't it? This is belongs to. B e l o n g s t o. Belongs to. Okay. What's the meaning? Now listen. N. Here N belongs to N. Capital N means. Capital N means. N belongs to N means. N is equal to natural. One, two, three, etc. N is a natural element. So all the value of N is equal to natural. Numbers, natural numbers. Now here, n. Here one power n means n belongs to n means what are the values of n? N is equal to one, two, three, four, etc. Now we can say this one belongs to capital n. Can you say one belongs to capital n means one is in n? 
n means natural 1 2 3 4 etc so one is in n then two also in n 3 4 5 now zero is belongs to n or does not belong to n now here zero belongs to n this is true or false false is it right? zero zero is does not belong to n because n is a natural number what are the natural number first number is one is it right? but here zero Zero is not a natural number. So we can write does not belong. Zero does not belong to n. Clear? This your belongs to symbol. Okay. Now here n belongs to n means what are the values of n? 1, 2, 3, etc. Now we can apply here. Here x equal to 1 power n. x equal to 1 power n. Now we can take n. What are the values? n, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Now we can take 1 for n. Equal to 1 for n means 1. We place in n place we have 1. 1 power 1 is equal to 1. Understand? Then we can take 1 power 2. n is equal to 2. So x equal to 1 square. Equal to 1 into 1? 1. Then x equal to 3, 2. 2 take, 2 already over, isn't it? Then 3, 1, u equal to 1 into 1 into 1. What's the answer? 1. Like this, you can repeat again and again. x equal to 1 power 100 also 1. That is same elements, isn't it? But this set means that is a distinct element, distinct object, isn't it? Distinct object. So, this is one, this one is repeated again and again. So we can write what are the elements in R. Say R is equal to 1 to 1. Don't repeat the element. Distinct element. So we can write 1 to 1. So N of R is equal to what? N of R is equal to. That is a cardinal number. N of R is equal to 1 to 1 element. So N of R is equal to 1. Are you clear what is cardinal number of a set? Okay. Now exercise 7.1. Represent the following sets by listing method. Represent the following sets by listing method. They are given in uh, builder form, set builder form. Now we want to write in listing method. Okay. Now here first one. A is equal to x such that x is a letter of the English alphabet between the 10th and the 20th letter. Between the 10th and the 20th lecture. Which is the 10th, uh, between 10th and 20th lecture, isn't it? So, we can write 11 letter to 19th letter, isn't it? 11 to 19th letter. What are the letters? We will come here. A is equal to. Now listen, first alphabet is A. That is first letter, isn't it? A, B, C, D, E. F, yeah, G, H, and J. J is the 10th alphabet. Isn't it? We need 11 to 19. Isn't it? So, after J, then K. Isn't it? K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. This is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, then 19. These are the elements for set A. Okay? A such that X is a letter of the English alphabet between 10th and 20th letters. Between 10th and 20th. So, 11 to 19. Between 11 to 19. What are the letters? That is the elements of set A. Okay? So, A is equal to K, L, M, N. O, P, Q, R and S. Okay. Now, second one. E is equal to X such that X equal to 5P plus 4. Now, they are given on condition P less than 5. P less than 5 and P belongs to N. Okay. P value that is natural number. P belongs to N. And one more condition, P less than 5. P less than 5 means, P, P less than
less than 5 means before 5. Before 5, what are the natural elements? Not natural numbers. Before 5, what are the natural num numbers? 1, P, so we can write 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay? This is the concept. P less than 5 means what is the order of the values? P is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't take this 5. This is less than means below 5. Okay, what is the meaning? Below 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. Because why you are starting from 1? Because they are given P nums M. N is a natural number. Natural number, what are the natural numbers? 1, 2, 3, etc. Isn't it? So we can take 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose here P less than or equal to 5 means. Okay? P less than or equal to 5 means. What's the meaning? 5 and below 5. We can include 5 also. 5 and below 5. Okay? 5 and below 5. So what is uh, the value? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 also we can include. Because here less than or equal. Here only less than. So we can take below 5. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. Clear about this? Okay. Now, here 5 x equal to 5p plus 4. 5p plus 4. What is p? p is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4. Isn't it? Now, we can apply put p is equal to p is equal to what is the first value? 1, 1. Now, we can write x equal to 5 into what is p? p is equal to 1. So, we can apply here 1 plus 4. Okay? Equal to 5 into 1, 5. First preference for multiplication. 5 into 1, 5. 5 plus 4, 9. Okay? Then, next, x equal to put p is equal to 2. p is equal to 2. Put p is equal to 2. So, x equal to 5 into, what's the value of p? 2. 2 plus 4 equal to 5 to sir 10. 10 plus 4, 14. 10 plus 4, 14. Then next, put p is equal to 3. 3. So, x equal to 5 into 3 plus 4 equal to 5 3 sir 15. 15 plus 4, 19. Okay? Then, P is equal to 4. P is equal to 4. So, X equal to 5 into 4 plus 4. Isn't it? 5 into 4 plus 4. 5 4 is 20. 20 plus 4, 24. 24. Now, what are the elements? 9, 14, 19, 24. So, we can write set E is equal to set E is equal to what are the elements? 9, 14, 19 and 24. 9, 14, 19 and 24. Okay? Now, one more question. Third one. Set F is equal to set up all x such that x equal to 7a minus 2, 3 less than or equal to a, less than or equal to 10 and a belongs to capital N. Capital N, a belongs to capital N means n is, n is a natural number 1, 2, 3, etc. Now here, what is the condition? 3 less than or equal to a, less than or equal to 10. What is the meaning? 3 and above 3. We can start 3, isn't it? 3, 4, 5. Now here, less than or equal to 10 means up to 10. Isn't it? 3 to 10. What's the meaning? 3 to 10. We can include 3 and 10. Because here, less than or equal to. Isn't it? Suppose here less than, not equal to, means we can write after 3, 4 to before 9. Before 10, 9. 4 to 9 we can write. But here, they are equal to any equal to. Less than or equal to. So, we can include this two number. Okay. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8 and 9. So, A is equal to what are the numbers? What are the elements? Sorry, what are the value? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay? Now, here A is equal to 7A minus 2. 7A minus 2. Now, here we can apply first 3. Okay? 7 into what is A? A equal to 3. A equal to 3. So, 3 minus 2 equal to 7. 3 is 21. 21 minus 2, 19. 21 minus 2, 19. Then, A equal to 4. So, X equal to 7 into what is A? 4. So, 7 into 4 minus 2 equal to 7. 4 is 28. 28 minus 2, 26. Okay. Then, x equal a equal to 5. Then, x equal to 7 into 5 minus 2. Isn't it? 7 into 5. What's the value of a? 5. So, we can apply here 5. 7 into 5 minus 2 equal to 7 by 7, 35 minus 2, 33. Okay. 35 minus 2 is 33. Then, a equal to 6. Now, here x equal to 7 into 6 minus 2. Okay. 7 into 6. 6 sevens are 42 minus 2, 40. Okay. Then, a equal to 7. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6 over then 7. We can apply here 7. Now, here x equal to 7 into 7 minus 2 equal to 7 sevens are 49 minus 2, 47. Then A equal to 8. So X equal to 7 to 8 minus 2 equal to 7. 8s are 56 minus 2. So 54. Then A is equal to 9. That is the last value. So X equal to 7 to 9 minus 2. 9 7 are 63 minus 2 is 60. One. Now, what are the elements of set F? 19, 26, 33, 40, 47, 54 and 61. Now, we can write set F is equal to 19, 26, 33, then 40, 47, 40, 47, then 54 and 61. 54 and 61. These are the elements of set Y. Yeah. Clear? Now next one. The exercise 7.1 third question. Represent the following sets by rule method. Rule method or set builder method. Isn't it? Rule method or set builder method. They are given in listing method. Isn't it? They are listed all elements. Now we want to write in rule method. Now listen here, set A is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Name of the first three days of the week. Isn't it? This is name of the first three days. Isn't it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. First three days of the week. So we can write in rule method, X such that X is here. Name of the first three days of the week. Okay, name of the first three days, first three days of the week, three days of the week. Okay, now second one, E is equal to 23 and 29. Now listen here, 23 is a composite of prime number. Prime number. 23 is a prime number. Isn't it? Yes. So we can write this 23 and 29 is a prime number. So we can write in rule method E is equal to X such that X is here. Now listen. Here 20 to 30. 20 to 30, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 
Here what are the prime numbers in between 22, 30? 22, 30. Here 20, 21, 22, 23 is a prime number. Then 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 is a composite. Then 29 also prime number. So, 20, up to 22, between 20 to 30, 23 and 29 is a prime number. Isn't it? 23 and 29 is a prime number. So, we can write... X such that X is a prime number, prime number. Now we can put the condition, okay? 20 to 30, isn't it? So, we can write the condition here, 20, you can start here, 20, less than or equal to, yes, less than or equal to, 30. Okay? 20 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 30. We can't include 20 and 30 here because 20 and 30 is a composite number but here we need only prime number. Okay? What are the prime numbers in between 20 and 30? That is a 23 and 29. So we can write x is a prime number 20 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 30. Okay? Then, c is equal to only one element that is Uranus. Okay? Um, that solar system. In our solar system, Uranus is a seventh planet. Isn't it? Seventh planet. So, we can write x such that x is a seventh planet. In our solar system. Okay. Seventh planet of our solar system. So we can write. C is equal to. X such that. X is. Yeah. Seventh planet. Seventh planet. Of our solar system. Seventh planet of our solar system. Okay? Now this is the rule method. Clear? Now question number 4. Write the coordinate numbers of the following set. Write the coordinate numbers of the following set. First one. H is equal to set of all. Is it such that is it is a letter in word geography. Okay? Now we can write what are the elements of H. Okay? Set H is equal to set of all G then E O again G. Isn't it? So no need to write only one time G then R A T then H and Y. Isn't it? Here how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Isn't it? Total 8 elements are there. So we can write N of H. Is it, isn't it? N of H is equal to 8. Because here 8 elements are there. So we can write N of H is equal to 8. Okay. Then next one. F is equal to 0. Set, inside the set bracket, we have only one element. So, we can write n of f is equal to 1. Okay? Cardinal number of the set f is equal to 1. Okay? Now, today's homework, book page number 66 and 67. Okay? Exercise 7.1, question number 1. Then, question number 2, we have 3 questions. Second one, third one and fourth one. Then, question number 3, second one and fourth one. Then question number four, first two, three. Okay? One, two, three. These are the four. Okay? We can continue next class. Thank you.